EPA Commissioner Mike Morath would like to see cell phones banned from classrooms, but in light of many threats online targeting schools, is this a safe decision? News 10's Jessica Rajkumar is in the studio with us and talked with a few local school districts on if this idea is smart or even safe. Jessica? Yes, Lauren and Gordon, TEA's Commissioner Mike Morath spoke about many things at this meeting, ranging from academic readiness to new state testing. But a suggestion he made to the committee about banning cell phones completely has mixed reactions throughout Central Texas. Cell phones are extremely harmful for student learning. Uh, and uh, if it were in my power, I would have already banned them in all schools in the state. That was TEA Commissioner Mike Morath sharing his views while highlighting how cell phone use has gone up in schools in the past years and national student achievement scores have went down in math and reading. So I would encourage you to consider that as a matter of public policy um, uh, going forward. Um, uh, for our students and our teachers. Marath maintains that banning cell phones across the state will increase students' academic performance. In Central Texas, schools that have strict cell phone policies, like Temple ISD, require their students to leave their phones in a classroom locker before they start each period. Cell phones have a lot of really good things about them, but they also include a lot of distractions as well. And sometimes students don't always have the wherewithal to manage and prioritize those pieces. Superintendent Dr. Bobby Ott says teachers have seen more engagement in their students ever since the new policy began. As far as academic attention is what I'm going to call it, instructional focus, that has gone way up. We've seen uh, really good engagement in the classrooms. Teachers have been uh, very happy about the quality of work that they are receiving. Salado ISD allows their middle and high school students to have their phones with them at all times, but they are only allowed to use them when class is not in session. And in teaching them that skill to be able to have their phones, but when it's appropriate to use them and when it's not appropriate to use them, I think is an important skill to learn. Superintendent Dr. Michael Novotny says that parents want to be able to reach their children in case of emergencies. But I don't see it necessarily as a safety issue, but I do see it as a, as a very inconvenient issue if they were not not allowed to have their phones during the day. But both superintendents agree that this decision should be left up to school districts themselves, not the commissioner. I do believe it should be a local decision. Where should local control play into this? When you've got over 1,200 school districts in the state of Texas, every single one of those districts have elected school boards that, that get to decide the policies for our district. While Marath did share his views on the issue, he did not go into details about what his next steps were to make this an official proposal. Reporting in studio, Jessica Rajkumar, KWTX News 10.